Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in the last video, we exported everything from Maya. So let's create a new document in Substance and start texturing. Uh, let's import our OBJ and set the resolution. Uh, hit OK. Now, before we start baking our mesh maps, uh, let's do one thing. Uh, we are going to have a glass material for this door. So let's go here and uh, change the shader to PBR metal rough with alpha blending. And uh, go to texture set list and select this glass. Go to texture set settings and add an opacity channel. Now you can go to bake mesh maps and uh, Deselect the ID because we are not using one. Change the output size to 2K and uh, use low poly mesh as a high poly. Increase the anti aliasing. Apply diffusion. And let's uh, click on this bake selected texture. Now it's going to take a few minutes because we have a lot of objects in our environment. So just sit back and let it finish. So our maps are done. Let's hit OK. And go to Texture Set List. Then select this glass. Go to Layers. And let's remove this empty layer. Take a new fill layer. And uh, we enable this Opacity channel. Turn it down. Change the roughness to 0 and uh, base color to something like this so here you can check uh, how transparent is your glass Let's keep it 0 0.02. Rename it as base. And add a new fill layer. Uh, disable color, normal, height, metal and opacity. Add a black mask and add a fill. In this fill, let's uh, search for dirt and here you'll see this uh, grunge leak dirty select this now select this layer and let's enable the opacity turn it down a little bit uh, let's skip it 0 0.1 and go to your dirt layer and uh, change the projection to tri planner also decrease the opacity a little bit let's keep it 10 so let's leave this glass uh, here now you can change this layer name to roughness Go back to texture set list and uh, select this metal door. Go to layers and uh, let's delete this one and take a new fill layer. Change it to tri planner and uh, increase the metalness to one. And maybe a little bit of roughness. Let's take 0 0.45. Change the color. Uh, maybe a little bit more darker rename it as base and add a new fill layer again change the metallic value to 1 and roughness to 0 0.4 add a black mask and add a fill 
now in your procedurals uh, search for this cells drop it in your fill like this change the projection to tri planner and uh, let's increase the scale to 25 or maybe let's change it to 50 and uh, go back here and let's change the color something like this now take a new fill layer and this time disable color metal normal and height add a black mask and add a fill and again let's take the dirt this one rename it as roughness now let's take a new fill layer and let's increase the roughness uh, Rename it as dirt, then add a black mask and add a generator. Let's take this dirt. You can uh, use the tri planner and decrease the dirt level to something like this. And also, you can turn down the opacity a little bit. Let's skip it 25. So we are done with the door. Now you can select all these layers and put them in a group. Now copy this group and go to your texture set list and select this pipes and wires. Go back to layers and paste that group we just copied. And as you can see that uh, this material has been applied on our pipe and wires so we are going to add a black mask then go to a polygon fill and here in the UV fill we are going to select these so you can change the viewport to 2D and 3D and here you can select these Now open this folder and go to your base and uh, here you can change the color and make it a little bit darker like this. So as you can see we have some problems here but we can fix that back in Maya. So let's leave it as it is for now now take a new fill layer and rename it as pipe and add a black mask and then go to your polygon fill and in your mesh fill or your uv fill you can select this pipe here now you can go back to this layer and uh, decrease the roughness to 0.2 and also change the color a little bit something like this now let's take a new fill layer and decrease the roughness to 0 0.2 and change the color a little bit to something like this rename it as base pipe take another fill layer and this time uh, we're going to repeat the same thing disable color metal normal and height rename it as roughness and add a black mask then add a fill and here search for the dirt 
and select this grunge rough dirty change the projection to tri planner and take another fill layer and rename it as dirt then increase the roughness to 1 and disable the metal normal and height add a black mask take a generator and select this dirt use tri planner keep the dirt level to 0 0.3 or maybe keep it uh, 0 0.5 now select these three layers and put them in a group rename it as a pipe and uh, this one let just name them clips add a black mask go to your polygon fill and select this one So again we have this issue here, don't worry we can fix this in Maya. Now take another fill layer and uh, again uh, keep the roughness to 0 0.2 and uh, rename it as base. Then add a black mask, go to your po polygon fills and uh, this time select these two. Go back and here you can change the color now. Something like this. So we are done with this pipe, wires and this door. Now let's get back to this light. And uh, again you can select this folder which we created for this uh, door and go back to texture set list then select this light go to layers and paste it here again uh, remove the black mask add it again go to your polygon fill and uh, select these objects tap this light And for this light here, uh, you can open this then uh, in the cell, select this cells and uh, decrease the opacity a little bit. Let's keep it 30. And also go to base and uh, decrease the roughness to 0 0.3 and also this tells to 0 0.3 or maybe 0 0.2 now here in the texture settings you can add another opacity channel and uh, go to layer take a new fill layer and uh, decrease the opacity for this let's keep it 0 0.3 and uh, decrease the roughness change the color to white and uh, bring it out of the group and rename it as uh, light then add a black mask and go to your polygon fill and select this light so this is now transparent which is going to be our light source in Maya. Now select this clip here and uh, select this dirt and increase the dirt level to 0 0.35 and uh, intensity to 50. You can uh, rename it light.
so that's it for today in the next video we are going to texture the walls ceiling and the floor and then we are going to export everything back in maya and set up an environment with some lights and render it so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then you can subscribe to the channel you can also follow me on the instagram or join my discord server so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video